What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Supercross 5. Hope you are doing good. Hope you are doing well. We are back with a little bit more Supercross 5. As the title already says, probably, maybe, I haven't done it yet. It's probably going to say something like, the last time playing Supercross 5 in uh, 2023. Because, as I'm sure you all know by now, Supercross 6 is coming out. Look, you can pre-order it over there. Pre-order now. I bet it costs, I bet we don't get any discount, do we, for uh, already having the game. That'd be nice. Um... Yeah, I thought I'd just do a quick video. This is probably going to be quite a short one. We might just do one race in career mode was pretty much what I was thinking. Basically, just so I can play the game a little bit. And then uh, when we jump into Supercross 6, I'll have a little bit of a better idea how to compare the two. I'll probably play it again just before I play Supercross 6. But yeah, for you guys, this is probably going to be the last Supercross 5 video. Um, last career mode we did. We obviously revisited it not that long ago. Uh, I don't think anyone really was that bothered anyway. So <laughs> we'll do another one though, just for fun. Um, I'll apologise in advance, I haven't been doing the race reviews obviously the past couple of weeks, did a couple at the start of the year, um, the race reviews of the real life races, uh, and then I got, I had to go away, was really busy, kind of dropped off it a little bit, I've not even watched the last race, so we're not really going to be talking about the racing in this, because I, uh, yeah, I've not been keeping up with it annoyingly, so I need to get back on that, uh, get back on that grind, watch some highlights, but yeah, for now, for today, for this episode, we're just going to jump in here, uh, we're gonna get straight into a race. I think you can see our rider shape is declining, but we're uh, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We'll probably do bad anyway. So um, I think we're pretty far down in the championship. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Can, we? can you even see me? Are we that bad? Why did we do that bad last time out? We must have. Sixteenth overall in the championship. I think we only did one race, didn't we? Uh, so we're going to round two, Houston, Texas. Let's see what we can do. Here we go then, let's have a little bit of practice, we won't spend too long and we'll get straight into the racing, but I'll have a little blast around, because I don't remember any of these tracks, obviously, but um, as I already said, I thought we'd just hop, hop back in, hop back in real quick, do a quick episode, if you guys aren't bothered, then uh, that is completely fine, I uh, don't blame you, this game is uh, obviously a year old now pretty much, as I said, Supercross 6 is coming out, by the time you see this, within a matter of probably, might even be days, maybe a week, I'm, a little, I'm sort of recording this about a week before, so... As I said, I will play this probably in my own time, just before Supercross 6 comes out. Just to uh, remind myself how this feels, and uh, just hopefully get a good comparison to, uh, to Supercross 6 itself. Um, we'll talk about it a bit more in the race in a second. Um, yeah, thought I might as well record it. Um, I've obviously, you know, I've been pumping some videos out on the channel, but nothing too mad. There's not been really much to play, to be honest. Supercross 6 is pretty much the, uh, the only game that's really coming out. Um, Motocross wise anyway, obviously, Legends and stuff is, you know, I'm sure we'll get some more updates to that. Uh, no MXGP. Um, so yeah, this is console wise, this is, I don't know, is this going to be it for the year, maybe? I, I don't really know, to be honest, we'll have to wait and see if uh, anyone does anything else. Obviously, um, you might have seen just now, Dakar has just updated, so I think there's some new stuff in that. But uh, again, I've not really done a video on that for a minute, so... Uh, we're going to be concentrating solely on Supercross 6, whether you guys are up for that or not, I don't know, we will soon find out, <laughs> let me know in the comments, uh, we'll definitely be playing it whatever happens and we'll uh, do a full career mode as we did with this one, so uh, yeah, anyway right, we'll talk about that more in a race in a second, I'm going to do a few laps just to get my uh, head back into this game, and I will see you at the start gate. Here we go, let's get going, safe to say, I still uh, suck at this game, so hopefully we'll be a bit better at Supercross 6, but uh, we, are, we are dead last in qualifying. So we are not going to get a gate pick. We're going to be uh, on the far right, I would imagine. Let's find out, shall we? Obviously on the Husky, which is where we got to in our career mode. We obviously didn't really do anything with this season. Let's see if we can do a little bit better in the race. But uh, I know qualifying is always pretty broken in this game. So um, again, let's see if we get a little bit of an improvement in uh, in the next one. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, not long at all, not long at all. Um, as I said, I've not really been keeping up with the real real life racing for the past couple of weeks, annoyingly. I will get back into it. So obviously that'll give us something to uh, talk about while we're doing our career mode stuff in uh, Supercross 6. And plus, obviously, I want to watch it because, uh, yeah, I'm just not out of time, basically. It's not for not wanting to watch it. I've just uh, been a little bit busy as this whole year seems to be so far. But yeah, so not really anything to talk about racing-wise. Um, I know, obviously, Webb, Sexton and uh, Tomac are your, your main boys up front uh, as was pretty much expected for the year so uh, they're still leading the way forward at the moment but uh, we'll see how that goes for the rest of the season in the 450s um, but yeah Supercross 6 man or Supercross 5 I suppose let's start with Supercross 5 or obviously uh, this probably will be the last time that there'll be a video of it uh, I'm unlikely to go back to it obviously after uh, Supercross 6 is released unless 
unless Super 6 is a complete mess, which I doubt it's not going to be. It's not going to be that bad. Um, this was an alright game, man. I think at the time I was pretty, I was pretty harsh on it, which I think I tend to do quite a lot with everything on this channel. I'm always a little bit, a little bit mean at the start of a, a series. Um, and this, this, I don't know. There was, there, there was some issues with this game. There still is some issues with this game. I mean. We all know that, but uh, I mean, I am all over the place all right now. Let's just get back on track a minute. Yeah, there were some problems when this first came out, man. It, it wasn't right, and it was too similar to Supercross 4. I, I, to be honest, I think we're going to be in the same boat for Supercross 6. As I said, we'll talk about that in a second. But um, overall, this game wasn't actually that bad. When you go back and play it, as I think I've been saying with all the race review videos and the, you know, the few episodes we've done on this game since, since you know, in 2023, I have said it's it's actually better than it. I remember it being, I think, anyway. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, maybe not. But it, it doesn't feel as bad as I, uh, I remember me saying it was. I mean, we were pretty rubbish as well at playing the game. Where is it at the moment? We're obviously doing career mode again. I know we're on a factory team. You know, we're, we're up leading the front, you know, leading the pack out front. So, I don't know, maybe I just didn't get into it when it came out last year and I just, I don't know, didn't give it enough of a, uh, of a, a chance and didn't play it enough, maybe. We, we did a pretty short series on it, so. Overall, this game wasn't that bad. It wasn't at all a leap and a bound forward from four uh, at all. If anything, it was, some people argued, a bit of a step backwards. Um, so it didn't have the best start. It didn't have the best start to his life. But yeah, as we've gone on, it's actually not as bad as I remember it being. But um, I mean, Supercross 6, obviously some of the uh, the bigger YouTubers like Wyndham and Start Systems and a few other guys have already, you know, had early access to Supercross 6. Uh, I watched this uh, Start Systems video earlier, just the... Um, I think it was the first one that Kellen did, just about the, uh, the overall gameplay. He did a quick race on a 450 as web, and um, it doesn't look much different, to be honest, graphically. Uh, it doesn't look any... I mean, it wasn't the full, you know, released version, but the chances of them doing anything... That was about two weeks ago, I think he released that video. The chances of them, you know, really making much headway in uh, two weeks is unlikely. Um, I'm sure you guys have already seen some videos of it anyway. Uh, if you haven't, obviously go check out some of those other channels. Whoa, 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 with all the early access boys. But um, looks wise, it didn't look much different. I'm sure there'll be a slight improvement if you did it back to back. I'm sure there'll be a slight improvement, but it, it didn't look much different. And um, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of difference. I mean, there's, you know, been a few videos about the track editor. I think the compound's pretty, uh, pretty big to be fair. Oh, mate, we're actually gonna lose this race. I think, yeah, I think the compound looks pretty big. Uh, they got, they've done some crazy stuff, kind of like Legends with the actual Hodges stuff. I think there's like some freestyle -y bits. Where we, I don't think we can actually do freestyle, but there's some, you know, there's a few different sections to the uh, compound, and I think there's some interesting ways to get about. And we'll obviously go into this a bit more when the game comes out. I'll do a video on it myself, even though you know people already have done it. Um, but yeah, I want to check it out anyway. But see, the compound looks pretty cool. Looks pretty big. Um, and I think those guys were saying in terms of gameplay, there's not, you know. It's not going to be a groundbreaking step forward, but again, I need to watch them more, and obviously, we'll give our own opinion when we uh, when we play the game. But um, from what people were saying, from what Callum was saying, Starter Systems were saying, it, air physics are pretty similar. Ground physics, the bikes were a little bit more um, grounded, um, supposedly a little bit more grippy in the in the the ruts and stuff. So it'd be cool if that is a feature, you know, get a little bit more stuck in the ruts and actually use them in the corners. Uh, rather than just being a texture that you look at and they don't actually really affect the race that much. Um, so that would be pretty cool if that actually does sort of come through and, and you can actually feel it and actually use them. Again, obviously I'm only going off what other people have said, I've not played the game myself, so, <laughs> so I have no idea. Uh, but that sounds promising, I suppose. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I don't, I don't think there's much difference, really. Um, Customization and stuff looks exactly the same. Hardly, hardly any difference at all. Yes, customization looks very, very similar. Um, sorry, I had to quickly pause the game then, so I just might have uh, missed a little bit of the race. <laughs> but but uh, real life getting in the way again of my professional recording career, which is uh, definitely not professional at all. Um, customization looks exactly the same. I, again, this is, I've not seen it firsthand, but looking at videos of, you know, all the gear and all the 
the bike graphics and all that sort of stuff. It's all stuff that's in this game. There's hardly any new gear by the looks of it, which is pretty lame. Um, well, it's not even pretty lame. It's very lame. I was... Ah, oh, God. I'm all over the place today. It, it's just not good enough, is it? Like, I, I don't want to start hating before I've even played the game, but, like, looking at the customization stuff that people have put up on YouTube already, it's, it's exactly what we've got in this game. There's no new gear. The gear is the same. There might be like, the odd piece, the odd little piece. There might be some new, slightly new brands. And there's probably some bike graphics and stuff that are slightly different. And obviously the models of the bikes will be the 2022 bikes, because um, obviously the game's always a year behind than the actual season, which was its own got its own problem in itself. I won't go into that again. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The numbers and stuff on your bike, I don't, again, I don't think you can change them. It's the same font. You can just kind of make them bigger and smaller. Uh, I imagine, I haven't seen it, but I imagine the numbers on our back and our name. Uh, although they have got better, this this one was a little bit better. Like what we're rocking right now actually looks okay. It's not too bad. But from what I can tell, I imagine it's going to be the same thing again. Why we can't have like decent custom numbers and, and stuff like like the real riders in real life why we can't match the AI numbers even just take their numbers I, it must be some sort of I mean you can't license a number surely a lot, uh, well you can license fonts and stuff but I don't know if that is the same uh, it's like the simplest thing to fix and I imagine it'll just they just they just cause issues for themselves by not fixing the little things like being able to change your font <laughs> or like having a good font on your back and it just makes people annoyed. So, I'm trying not to be negative before I've even played the game, but from what I've seen, it's minor tweaks, not groundbreaking changes. So, which, uh, if I'm being honest, is what I expected. I didn't want to expect that, I didn't want to believe that, I wanted it to be, not from the ground up, but I wanted it to be a big update, especially with no MXGP this year. No ride. I mean, they might be working on Ride 5, obviously, but so I mean, that takes time, but it's not released this year. So, well, not released this year yet. So, I don't know. I thought they might just have a bit more time on their hands, but uh, I don't know. They did obviously the um, uh, Hot Wheels game, obviously, World Superbikes game. I don't know. I don't know. This always feels like an afterthought, which is weird because it's, you know, sponsored by Monster Energy. It's a big big game man they got the contract for the the real championship so you'd think they'd want to put some some effort into it and you'd think monster energy and supercross and whoever you know does the deal you'd think they'd want them to put some more time and effort into it they'd want to make a good game to go along with their real life supercross series hey maybe next year maybe next year we'll get supercross uh or super motocross whatever whatever we'll call it now maybe we'll get the whole thing in one big game outdoors and indoors you never know maybe that's what they're waiting for because obviously that would be next year's game will be for this year so maybe maybe that's wishful thinking i mean that'd be pretty bloody awesome and if that's if that's the case if that's what they're waiting for then fine that's fine but if we don't get something like that next time right then and we just get another copy paste and supercross 7 is the same then you know i might not even get it i wasn't gonna get this one and i got it i wasn't gonna get supercross 6 but i'm gonna get it i'm already hating i know i know so i'm gonna i'm gonna cool it down and uh, we'll wait until we get the actual game in my hands and we'll play it and we'll see see what it plays like it might be amazing it might be amazing um so yeah that's enough hate for now but uh we'll see how we go we'll see how we go would have been nice for some bigger changes but again i'll wait till it's in my hands and i'm playing it before i judge it too harshly <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments what you've seen so far on uh, some of the early access stuff all oh, my days that was an interesting whip um yeah let me know your thoughts and uh, obviously stick around for the career mode. The career mode series is going to be the main thing we're going to do in it. As I said, I'll do some videos on the compound and if there's any other little new bits in there, I'll do some videos on those. We'll maybe try and do a split screen video as well. So now quite a lot of you enjoyed the uh, split screen Supercross 5 video, even if it was only a short one with the misses. But yeah, we'll do a little bit of split screen just to show off, see if it's any different from this year. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But we're obviously coming up to the end of this race. We are still somehow winning, despite me... Being, uh, being all over the place. Are we going to throw it away right now? We could do. Justin Barsha is going to do us in the whoops. And we might have just thrown away a race win. Which would be hilarious if we actually have. After all that. Oh yeah, well, I reckon we have because we're going off the track now. Messing up rhythm sections. 
classic, classic way to end the race. I think I do this all the time in career mode, so look forward to this in Supercross 6. Me uh, leading the whole race and then giving it all away on the last lap. Hopefully not. We'll see. Let's see if we can get Barsha back first. Oh, we're going to triple, 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 which is a... Uh, didn't seem that quick, but we definitely got past him, which means we might just about, if we can get through this section, we might survive. Oh, no. <laughs> As he says that, he crashes again. <laughs> you can't make this up, mate. He's actually going to win. He's actually going to win. Brilliant. All right, well, I was going to say, hope for the AI will be a little bit more uh, a little bit more challenging, but apparently we can't even beat this AI. So there we go. P2. There we go. Absolutely bottled it on the last lap. P2. Never mind. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll go from there. But yeah, that's probably going to be the last Supercross 5 for now. As I said, keep your eye out for Supercross 6. Make sure you uh, leave some comments down below if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you're looking forward to in Supercross 6, what you think of the early access gameplay. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. It would be very much appreciated. We're nearly at 1,000 subscribers, guys. We're nearly there. We might even be there by the time this goes out, which would be amazing. And uh, what a way to start Supercross 6 with 1,000 subscribers. That would be pretty blooming cool. But yeah, I'll see you next time in Supercross 6, I expect. See you then. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.